Hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney. We are once again investigating today because as I mentioned last time, I, I thought, you know, the trial in the last video was going to be it for this chapter, but I was wrong. We're back in investigating again and last time we we learned some things that I was not expecting, like the fact that uh the one inside the Steel Samurai costume was Jack. So like what are the motives there? And also he was outside of Studio 2, meaning that the director and the producer are suspects once again. Currently, I'm leaning towards the producer, but who knows? I could be wrong, okay? I was very much not expecting Jack to be in the Steel Samurai costume, so it could be anything at this point. But other than that, you know, I'm hoping that today might be the final old bag video. Like, unless she gets called upon to be a witness again for some apparent reason, which I don't know why she would, in the next trial, I shouldn't have to see her again after today. And I don't even want to see her to begin with today. I really don't want to get jump scared by her again, but I know it's going to happen. But, you know, fingers crossed that this is it and no more old bag after this. But okay, it is October 19th, 3.27 p.m. Right in Cold Law offices. Is it going to be Mia or Maya? Maya, like, is Maya going to be back now? That was a close one, huh, Mia? Oh, it's Maya again. Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Welcome back. Oh, Maya. So, what happened? Interesting that you don't get to retain any of the memories <laughs> of what happened. Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea of who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, get going, Nick. Under the initial trial system tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to sped, to, to sped the whole other, no, words, to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials had to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's not helpful at all. Listen, our court system is already messed up. This is, this would just take it to a whole new level. Well, we've got no time to waste. Okay, um, let's go to the detention center. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick. You must have really wowed him, wowed him in there. Yeah, Jack, come on. Things are looking up. You don't need to be so sad anymore. Or is that just how you are? And could you wipe that grin off of your face? Hey, WP! Only one day left! Let's make it count! Yes. Well, there's not really anything I can do to help. Haha! <laughs> I'm not really sure that what I can do either. Yeah, why are you here, Maya? <laughs> no offense, I do like you. But you don't really help that much. Please, this is no laughing matter. Okay, um, Producer Vasquez. Can you tell me more about Ms. Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. That's why I think it was her. <laughs> because they're like, oh, she's such, like this great lady. And, but it turns out she's not. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. And maybe she, like, is like, no, Jack, you take this role. And he's like, grrr, I'm gonna kill you. And, but then she killed him because he tried to kill her. I don't know, maybe. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and. And what? Nothing, forget it. Uh, listen, buddy, Will. Given your position, you can't be, like, hiding stuff. You gotta tell me everything. I, I've only heard rumors, anyhow. I will take the rumors, tell me. <sighs> I guess not. Director Manella. Can you tell me anything about Man Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. When he said minor, I thought, like... He was like, he used to be a minor as in under the age of 18. And I was like, didn't everyone used to be a minor? She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. 
Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Makes sense. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high. All that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. Mr. Hammer! I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? Well, yeah, what happened? Then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in the business. He just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Did he only take samurai roles? Maybe he should have branched out. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to the global. Okay. Maybe it does have something to do with her. And he resents her. Five years ago? Alright, well. Thanks. I'm gonna go probably get jump scared. Eh. Hi. Uh. Don't dot that dot me. You better not chompy. Your windbag sure is quiet today. I'm scared of you. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. <laughs> Nick, I think our guard's down. Y yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. I'm so scared that she's just gonna like get mean out of nowhere. You eat it, you die. Phew, she's alive. Hi, producer Vasquez. Um, I was wondering about D Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. Why are you so quiet anyway? What's your problem today? So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Okay, maybe, again, it could have something to do with Jack and Old Bag likes Jack. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Director Manella. It's also suspicious that the studio people don't want anyone talking about her. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal, he's soft, a pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, and I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Or, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. You stay innocent. <laughs> Mr. Hammer. About Mr. Hammer. Ah! <laughs> Stop doing that to me! Ah! I heard about what you said today. Shit, you whipper stabber. Poor old Hammer. You drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Oh, so you're mad about that? Calling him a criminal. A thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. But he did! Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stop to stoop so low. It's impossible. Well, he did. And I would really love if you stopped to make that face. I'm gonna go this way. Anyone here? Hello? Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. Well, why? I wonder if someone called him. Like the director? Or the producer? Well, the, the reason I think that like he willingly did it is, well, number one, he drugged the, uh, Will. And then he was also pretending to be him with the limp. <sighs> okay. Hey, you. What voice did I give you? I think it was just kind of bored sounding. Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello? You don't like to speak to me. Hello? H-E-L-L-O. Maya, you should at least try to be polite. Yeah, well, she's not being polite. I'm watching the clouds. Okay. That's all she had to say, apparently. Will you talk to me about literally anything? Like Mr. Hammer? Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer 
Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really taking me off. Oh, dear. <sighs> Speak to me about something, for the love of God. Will Powers. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! My fairy blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh, dear. Uh, Director Manella. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. Oh, oh dear. <sighs> Fine, I'm gonna go to the trailer right now and talk about it by myself. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Uh, yeah, that was the last time we saw her. I don't know if it's, if it's worth me checking any of this stuff. I'll cut it if it's the same. I, I'm gonna check just in case. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Hello, you are not helpful to me. Well? Unfortunately, I have to pass by old bag. Excuse me. I'm heading over here. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming, just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, 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 no touching. Yeek! It's been a while since we've seen you, Gumshoe. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I can be a little drama dr dramatic at times. You said that weird. I suppose it's the actor in me. Uh-huh, sure. Dramatic. Is it dramatic or dramatic? Indeed. Ahem. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Well, talk to me first about the plate. So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. I don't trust you to do it, Gumshoe, no offense. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Haha! It's found in the employee area. On it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. The investigation. How goes your investigation? Tell the truth. It's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. Yeah! We're just that good. We change people's minds. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Prosec Speaking of, Prosecutor Edgeworth. How is Edgeworth doing anyway? He's never down here, you know? You'd think <laughs> he'd be looking around here for evidence. Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room, and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. <laughs> Edward! Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edward. Yeah, crushing paper cups. 
No, you, you don't understand. With hot, hot coffee in it. Cups. Bottles. So, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. Yeah! That's right. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Haha, -ha, genius. Found on a table in the employee area, bears Jack Hammer's fingerprints. Okay, well, can I... Uh... Look at anything around here? That grid is still lying here. Ah, they've seen wisdom at last. We know if they fixed it, they just kick it off. They, I just kick it off again. A poor assistant. I don't know if there's anything else. So, let's go in here. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so. What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But this week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. Hmm. What? No! The producer? Uh, Mr. Hammer. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. What is this rumor everyone keeps, like, dancing around? Please tell me, Penny. The rumor? Yeah. Ms. Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. Okay, I, I'm... My suspicion towards her is growing more and more by the second. This goes with my theory that he was going to go after her. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Yes, but can you be more specific? Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the set then? Hmm. Okay, uh, the last episode. What, what do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. <laughs> My questions for you just keep growing. Okay, studio policy. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And, you know, maybe they figure the public won't want to expose their kids to a show where murder happened, for real. They want it quiet, you understand? How could they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Huh? Am I... Am I showing you path to glory? I'm, I'm guessing. And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. 
Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Thank you, Penny. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. And finding you suspicious. Because in the beginning, I, there weren't many suspects, okay? Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died. And it was Hammer's fault. S someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Ms. Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Ms. Vasquez asked him to do? But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star actor back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. But it seemed like his career wasn't doing great to begin with. I see. You know who's more? You know who knows more about this? Ms. Oldbag. Ugh. I don't want to talk to her though. Can't you just tell me? Ugh. She was here at the studios back then, you know? Thanks. We'll try asking her. I'd rather not. If she'll talk. I don't want to talk to old bag. Ugh. Hi. What, you're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take it over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest for, to forget Hammer. Who do they think made global <laughs> words? I'm dying. Who do they think made global studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. You're a big fan. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. No, that means she'll make a chompy face. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? She's got rabies! <sighs> Alright, talk to me about five years ago without getting angry. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Ah! I'm so sick of you doing that! Uh, I will not miss you. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh... Huh? Nichols? 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 Nick? Penny Nichols. That assistant we talked to. Oh, was that her last name? Did she tell us that at some point? I don't know. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers. Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And they're recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. Listen, it's also catches killer, which you should be all for. No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. Because he did. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. Um. I'm assuming that I have proof. Um. What? What is said proof? I'm guessing it's gotta be something related to the sleeping pills. I'm sorry, Ms. Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Uh, the, the plate. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes. So? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on that plate. I bet Powers put it there himself. Why would he do that? What would be the point behind that? Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in, which is over here. Boom. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. <laughs> well, that's all it took. She's chill now. Miss Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. A photo, well... It caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. I don't trust her. 
She has ties to the mafia. Oh, I mean, makes sense given her like stance like, oh, I'm smoking. <laughs> she silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. In this old bag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss old bag. Yeah, you feel bad for her, cause I never will after all the fear she's caused me. Here, take this. A photograph? Oh. Wait a second. That's, I mean, it, it covered my screen, I can't see. This is the picture. But it's the guy, dead. Oh, that, the spiky, like, fence. One of them is bent, I remember that. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of, the, of those stairs there. He pushes the other actor, and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But you know, maybe they shouldn't have made, like, such pointy fences. Or maybe made it, like, a prop kind of thing, so it's not actually pointy, it just looks like it is. But, but how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel like, I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. She was an accident involving Jackhammer. Well, thanks, old bag. Um, I'm gonna head over to Studio 2 now, because maybe to look at that fence. Hi, excuse me. Can I look at this? There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. You're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Yeah, can we? Uh. Okay, am I supposed to talk to you? Oh, she's gone! Where did you go, lady? Guys, I'm not insane, right? She was here when I walked in. Um, you didn't go in here, right? No, where'd you go? Oh, you're... Oh, okay, it was just that she disappeared when I hit examine. That's, that explains it. I was like, she ran away. That was weird. Okay, I, I have nothing to talk to you about, I guess. Uh, I don't know where to go next. Actually... Wait, maybe I'm supposed to present the photo to you, maybe? That was really weird though. I thought she just like ran from me. <laughs> okay, look at this. She's not even looking. Where? W what? Where did you get that? I, uh, well, listen, I hate Old Bag, but I get the feeling maybe I shouldn't throw her under the bus. Old Bag. Uh, old? She needs a security lady. Miss Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The, huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Okay. In we go then. <sighs> you came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Ms. Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why That's why he was doing kids shows for Penny Change. Hmm, okay, I see. Humph. So, I'm a blackmailer now. But yeah, you've also got ties to the mafia. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But, but... 
You were the cause. You pressured him. I had to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. Oh, you're looking at me for once. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would be... What would it be if it wasn't an accident? Murder? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? I mean, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility if... We're talking about the fact that now, in current day, before he died, he drugged Will, took his costume, pretended to be him, which is already sketchy enough. And he could potentially have been trying to murder, like, you or someone else. Doing, like, while in that costume. That is what I mean. Ooh. Look at your different sprites now. W where's your proof? Can you prove it? Oh. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. Oh, that's where she got it. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. She is scary. And violent. So that's why she got the photo. She's an old fool. And an old bag. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. No! You're freaking me out. So why, why are there no more? Did you kill him? Well, what? This is valuable evidence. Boys, oh! It's your mafia people. Well. Help? Someone? How do I get out of this? Uh, um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. Oh, is that why there's no other photos? <sighs> what do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Okay, that's gonna just put, like, ev uh, like uh, not evidence, suspicion on you even more. Like, if Will Power's lawyer just up and gets erased? Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Can someone save me? Boys, erase away. Help? No! Someone? Help me? Gumshoe! Yay! Hold it right there. <laughs> Finally, you busting again like this is good for me. I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez. You're coming down to the precinct with me, now. Yeah! Gumshoe! Humph. Not bad. Also, where were these guys hiding? Like, they just... Really, like, under the table, in the trash can. They just appeared out of nowhere. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you, Gumshoe. You're my hero. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. No. Okay, I got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. 
Well, Nick, looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. It was her. To be continued. Nice. Okay, well, go ahead and end today's video here. After I save the game, woo. It's a bit of a shorter one today, but I don't want to jump into the trial now because that'll go on for too long. But it turns out that it was in fact the producer. When those characters were introduced, I was like between the producer and the director, but I've always leaned more at D just because, I mean, look at Salmonella. I just, I don't think it would be him, you know, unless, the only way I think it would be him is if the producer made him do it. Cause what they were saying about like, oh, he'll do anything for her. If she says jump, he'll jump. But just with all the build up and they kept like not wanting to mention her. And for a few of, of the past videos now they've been like, oh, she's like amazing. And she saved this place. And she just seems like a very powerful person. I was not expecting her to be a part of the mafia though. <laughs> oh, she's got those scary mafia guys with her. Um, again, where were they hiding? Like they just, we're like, boom, here we are. We also learned uh, this rumor thing that we kept hearing about Jack. Not only did he kill someone, he apparently did it on purpose, which like I said, I'm not surprised by considering now with all the information we have, my current theory is, you know, he must've just been sick of the power that she had over him and you know, the blackmailing and forcing him to take these kitty roles. So I'm guessing that he knocked out Will put on the costume, pretended to be him to go after D to murder her, but she's powerful. Maybe she killed him herself or she had someone do it for him, like, uh, or for him, for her with the, the mafia guys she has or something like that. That's what I'm currently rolling with. He wanted to kill her, but it, the tables were turned and she, whether directly or through someone else, killed him. So yeah, very interesting. I'll be I'm curious to like finally get these final details in this last trial here. This one has been very interesting. I'm glad that they um, stopped telling us who the culprit is because it's been fun trying to figure out who it is and piece all the evidence together. So yeah, next time we will go ahead and finish up this chapter with the final trial. And you know what? We also have to celebrate. I'm not, well, I'm not gonna celebrate too early because it, there, it is always possible that she will be in, in this final video. But I think today, was the end of old bag. She got a few more jump scares in for me because of course she did, but I might not ever have to see her again. That could have been it. I don't see any reason for her to be, okay, no wait. Oh no, wait. She might be a witness in the trial because she saw what happened five years ago. Ugh. Well, she didn't see it, but like she knows about it. Ugh, okay, never mind. I'm not, I'm not gonna celebrate it. There's a good chance we're gonna see her again. Ugh. And on that disappointing note, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.